Another thing we're going to look at is on-site vacuum veneering. This I got from a uh, marine uh, boat repair supply house. It's a very thin, one-time use vacuum bag material. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Um, I got this years ago, but I think you get over 100 feet of it for something like $100, $125. You need a way to extract the air out of it. This happens to be a roll of uh, window uh, screen material. Got it at any box store. The other thing that you're going to need is butyl tape. Butyl tape, you can get at the same uh, outlet or any fiberglass supply house uh, will carry this. Uh, it's used a lot in boat work. So if we had a piece So here I've got some of the material, uh, some old uh, used screen. Uh, a board, this happens to be cherry, but if you're going to veneer, you'd want to use something expensive. Uh, another thing we're going to look at is on-site vacuum veneering. This I got from a uh, marine uh, boat repair supply house. It's a very thin, one-time use vacuum bag material. Uh, it's relatively cheap. Um, I got this years ago, but I think you get over 100 feet of it for something like $100, $125. You need a way to extract the air out of it. This happens to be a roll of uh, window uh, screen material. Got it at any box store. The other thing that you're going to need is butyl tape. Butyl tape, you can get at the same uh, outlet or any fiberglass supply house uh, will carry this. Uh, it's used a lot in boat work. So if we had a piece So here I've got some of the material, uh, some old uh, used screen. A uh, board, this happens to be cherry, but if you're going to veneer, you'd want to use something expensive. A uh, piece of veneer left over from another job. Uh, so if this were, say, uh, something that I wanted to veneer in walnut, in this case, But take the rectangle and the butyl tape, make sure my surface is clean, and simply make an outline.
So I got the material down, take the tape off. It's, it's kind of like uh, double stick tape when it's malleable. I have my veneer, my, uh, if I were to, obviously I would spread glue if this was going to be something I intended to use. Lay down what I've got. So this is a one-time use. You don't get to use it again. But it's cheap enough that it does make a heck of a lot of difference. Making sure I don't have any folds. Simply putting it down. Taking an end of the hose, doesn't need to be attached to a switch for this, you can run it straight off of the pump. And I'm going to put it into the bag. tape and seal the hole. Turn it on. You'll hear the pump come on in a minute. That's sealing. That would veneer onto the substrate with just this. And the surface, as you can see, is nothing special. It's a piece of plywood. It's a uh, pre-finished uh, maple ply that I got as a ding from uh, the lumber yard. So I think it was about $25, $30 for the sheet. I leave the pump running for a couple hours. In this case, mine has a switch on it, so it'll kick off after a while. Uh, but you can have this in the next room, and we wouldn't have to do it run. The same principle works for any size. Uh, it's the same uh, stuff is done in boat yards, where it might be 15, 20, 30 feet long. It'll take a little longer to evacuate the air, but once the air is evacuated, it'll hold the pressure, and you'll have a veneer surface.